ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to RWL Championship Wrestling. My name is Don Hickson, and for the next 60 minutes, I'll be your guide through the RWL mat action you'll be seeing this evening, and we have got an action-packed card on tap for you, including a main event that you are definitely not going to want to miss. It's an all-star Legends Division tag team event that is going to be second to none. But right now, it is bell time, and let's get underway with our opening contest as Boston Connor faces Mad Dog Mark McKay. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Toxic Table from Massachusetts, weighing in at 240 pounds, Boston well, for the record, the gentleman on your screen is not Bono from U2. That is Boston Connor of the Toxic Table, a group of hangers-on here in RWL, led by sports commentator Pat McAfee, of all people. As if Logan Paul was not sufficiently bad enough. This is Boston Connor's first appearance in an RWL ring against Mad Dog Mark McKay. And, well, knowing absolutely nothing about the man, I can't really be expected to elucidate in any great detail on a guy who technically isn't really a professional wrestler and probably has no business in the squared circle. But, not my job, it's above my pay grade to discuss such things. In any case, we now await the arrival of Mad Dog Mark McKay here he comes now as Boston Connor of the Toxic Table, whatever that means, awaits his arrival. And the fans here in London, England, welcoming Mad Dog Mark McKay and his manageress, Miss Morse X, indeed a mouthful, to the arena this evening. Now, Mad Dog Mark McKay made his debut a couple of weeks ago, and he won his first match. So he has that going into this one. I was recently talking to Snarl General Manager Hangman Dex Lynch, and while we know very little about Miss Morse X, he seems to feel there's some degree of familiarity as if he knew her from somewhere. Perhaps she's worked here before and is now working under a mask. A distinct possibility, of course. Then again, she may be a total stranger. We don't know. We don't have a great many details on Mr. McKay or his manager us. In any case, this should prove to be an interesting contest between Mr. McKay and Boston Connor of the Toxic Table, led by one Pat McAfee. Well, that's RWL for you, ladies and gentlemen. While it's true that we don't know a great deal about Mr. McKay or indeed Miss Morse X, I'm sure over the course of time we're going to learn a whole lot more about this unusual Perry. They say behind every great man is a great woman, and you have to wonder how much of an influence does Miss Morse X have over the career of Mad Dog Mark McKay? Well, this ought to be a great opening contest, and we've got a whole lot more lined up, so fans, Round up your snacks, get comfortable, because it is going to be an exciting hour of RWL professional wrestling. Mr. Boston Connor, all ready to face Mad Dog Mark McKay in our opening contest. The referee rings the bell. They lock up collar and elbow kick to the midsection. And McKay responds with body shots. Series of hard chops and kicks. Scoop slam, a sit out scoop slam. Mark McKay definitely displaying some skills. McKay drives a knee into the arm. Boston Connor. Oh my goodness. Mark McKay absolutely exploding here on the younger and probably more inexperienced Boston Connor. Another kick. And oh my! What a jawbreaker that was right there. As 
Boston Connor tries to get his bearings back out on the apron. Manages to counter and return inside the ring. McKay locks him up, whips him out onto the apron, delivers a hard right hand, hangs him off the top rope, putting Boston Connor out there onto the floor. Out goes McKay right after him, and Mark McKay, working up the fans here in London, returning to work on Boston Connor to respond, but uh, immediately gets blocked. Slam to the floor, face first. Mark McKay throws Boston Connor into the barricade, drives a knee into the face of Boston Connor. Connor, starting to return to the relative safety of the ring. Rejoined by McKay, look at this, a rebound off the ropes and completely missed. Completely failed the move as McKay resumes his attack. Boston Connor down on the canvas. Rounds him up again, swing and a miss. No joy in Mudville tonight. And down goes Mark McKay. Boston Connor displays a minor degree of confidence here. Whips McKay into the ropes, ducks under. Leapfrogs. Look at this. Oh, oh, real barrel suplex. Perhaps Boston Connor is not quite as unskilled as we were led to believe. Drives Mad Dog Mark McKay's head into the turnbuckle. Delivers a series of hard body shots. Scoops him up. No, oh, McKay in the tree of low position here, but counters quickly and manages to escape the corner. Boston Connor. Resuming his attack. Shoulder tackle, which takes McKay down. Miss Morse X. Exhorting her man and her client back to his feet. Boston Connor assists him up. McKay whipped to the ropes again. Drop toe hold. Boston Connor going for the first pin here. Just about a one count, says the referee. Okay, look at this, whoa, whoa, oh my. Austin Connor flying over the top rope, crashing and burning. Later, look at this, McKay with a pile driver out there on the floor. Looking to do some serious damage, Austin Connor. Okay, assisting Connor back into the ring. Rolls back in himself. A hard kick to the back. McKay slams Boston Connor's head into the canvas. McKay takes himself all the way up to the top rope here. Judges the distance. Boom. Drives an elbow into the face. I said the face of Boston Connor. Hard, devastating right hand. Takes Connor back down again. McKay once more. Up on the top rope, waiting patiently for the right moment. And I guess here it is. Beautiful crossbody splash covers, hooks the leg. One, two, and three. That is it. Wrap it up, take it home. Mad Dog Mark McKay wins again. There we are, Mad Dog Mark McKay chalking up his second victory at the hands of Boston Connor. Looking like he's feeling pretty good about it. Talks up an impressive one, two, three pinfall victory over this first time opponent. Fans will be returning with our very next match right after the break, so stay with us. All right, fans, as we continue Legends Division single action. Coming up next, it's the magnificent Don Morocco, one on one in the RWL debut of Jinder Mahal. Making his way to the ring, representing the authority from Hawaii. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Magnificent Don Morocco. The Magnificent One, Don Morocco of Sunset Beach, Hawaii. Been some time since we've seen Don Morocco in action. I may have actually called that match. Don Morocco accompanied by the Grand Wizard of Wrestling, his manager. And the Grand Wizard managing a sizable stable, including the likes of the masked superstar, Ernie Ladd, Ox Baker, and a host of others. And Mr. Morocco is one of the shining stars of the Grand Wizard Stable. And 
Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. In London, England, going absolutely berserk. The Maharaja, for the first time in RWL, Jinder Mahal. The WWE's loss is RWL's gain as Jinder Mahal makes his RWL debut tonight. And his opponent from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Yes, well, the rumors began swirling when Jinder Mahal was released by World Wrestling Entertainment. A lot of people thought that Jinder Mahal might find his way to RWL, and sure enough, here he is, one and all in person, the modern-day Maharaja Jinder Mahal making his RWL debut tonight against magnificent Don Morocco. Jinder Mahal, of course, a former world champion, and looking in top physical condition this evening, certainly going to give magnificent Don Morocco a run for his money tonight. Yes, indeed, Legends Division single action was Don Morocco and Jinder Mahal. This one's just about set to get underway. The official rings the bell. Jinder Mahal charges jumping neckbreaker, takes Don Morocco down to the canvas, follows it up with a knee to the chest of the Magnificent One. Don Morocco counters into a dragon screw, gathers up Jinder Mahal and goes immediately for a submission right into a bear hug. I don't think it's going to work. No, indeed, Jinder Mahal trying to battle his way out of it and succeeds in doing so. Fails to catch the clothesline and Morocco goes behind, whips Jinder Mahal into the ropes and a forearm takes Jinder Mahal down to the canvas. Now Morocco sizes up the situation, the Grand Wizard watching patiently. Beautiful crossbody splash from the Magnificent One going for the cover. Barely just a one count. Morocco right back on top of this. Jinder Mahal. Look at this. Jinder Mahal turning it into a counter. Turns it into a DDT on Don Morocco. Morocco. Locks him up. Oh my. Here we go. Pile driver. Oh, that could be bad news. Jinder Mahal. Quickly back to his feet. You got to be impressed with resilience like that. A pile driver. Oh, look at this. The referee getting involved here. Jinder Mahal trying for the full Nelson, but Don Morocco wise to that one with a judo toss. Now Jinder Mahal stepping outside. Morocco quick to join him. A kick to the midsection. Now Jinder Mahal with Morocco in the powerbomb position and whoa my right into the turn. Oh, right into the apron. Not once, but twice. Grand Wizard maintaining a discreet distance from Jinder Mahal. Mahal driven into the barricade by Don Morocco. Morocco drives him into the barricade a second time. Now he's got, oh, whoa, now. Jinder Mahal becoming very familiar with those steel barricades. And he's rolled into the ring by Don Morocco who is taking himself all the way up to the top rope. Elbow drop to the back of Jinder Mahal. Don Morocco. Seems to feel he's got this one in the bag. Jinder Mahal rolls out of the way, misses with the clothesline. Morocco from behind. Jinder Mahal counters with an elbow. They lock it up again. Jinder Mahal gets hung up on the top rope. Don Morocco rebounds off the ropes and whoa, what a splash right there. Jinder Mahal looking like he's got the worst of it here. Morocco countered by Jinder Mahal. Now Jinder Mahal battling back, Morocco battling back equally. Whoa, shoulder charge. Don Morocco looking supremely confident here. Basic scoop slam. And a rolling elbow drop into the chest of Jinder Mahal, Don Morocco. And look at what I've got here. As he hurls Jinder Mahal halfway across the ring. Now the magnificent one. Continuing to size up the modern-day Maharaja Jinder Mahal trying to battle his way back into this one, but Don Morocco insisting on maintaining control here, another diving elbow. Don Morocco refusing to relinquish control of this match, or indeed Jinder Mahal, throat chop, whoa! 
Well, I was just missed. Don Morocco. All the way up on the top rope. Another beautiful attempt at a splash, but didn't connect Jinder Mahal. With the resourcefulness to get out of the way, fails to connect with the diving knee. Now Mahal whips Morocco into the ropes. Has him up. Whoa! Twice water slam right there. Now Jinder Mahal psyching himself back into this match. After Don Morocco's dominated most of it, running clothesline. Takes Don Morocco down to the canvas, slams the head of Don Morocco down to the mat a second time. Now Jinder Mahal into a heel hook stretch. Pretty basic scientific move, but very effective. Jinder Mahal making his way all the way up to the top rope here. Don Morocco laid out and boom, diving knee. Jinder Mahal goes for the cover, but just a one count. Jinder Mahal continuing to drive that knee into the chest of Don Morocco. Morocco counters with a leg sweep. Mahal quickly back to his feet. And whips Don Morocco into the ropes. Another forearm that takes Morocco down, stunned him pretty good. Jinder Mahal sizes him up, wicked running kick right there. Don Morocco has lost the advantage here for sure. Jinder Mahal opening up here. Mahal makes his way all the way up to the top again. And here we go, he's waiting for Don Morocco. Morocco back up to his feet and whoa! Driving shoulder tackle off the top rope. Jinder Mahal. The modern day Maharaja has seized control of this situation away from Don Morocco. So far, no real sign of a solid win from either side. Jinder Mahal engaging in a little uh, chicanery there with a throat of Don Morocco. Another diving shoulder tackle from Don Morocco. Kick to the midsection. And here we go. Whoa! Spinning pile driver. Morocco goes for the cover. This could be the end. One, two, no. Jinder Mahal able to get that shoulder up. Morocco. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful Samoan drop. Don Morocco. Now sizing up Jinder Mahal, possibly for the end here. Has him up on a third pile driver. You have got to be kidding. Whoa. Now Don Morocco showing some signs of fatigue here. Jinder Mahal. Covered. One, two, and again, Jinder Mahal displaying great resilience and frustrating the plans of Don Morocco. Morocco rounds him up again. Scoop slam. Changes his mind. I think it was going to go to the top rope again. But waiting for Jinder Mahal delivers an overhand right. Mahal rolls out of the way. And out and over onto the floor goes the magnificent Don Morocco. With Jinder Mahal right off there after him. Brings him back inside the ring. Morocco with a running clothesline takes Jinder Mahal down again. Morocco rebounds off the ropes. Fails to connect with the splash. Jinder Mahal again. Managing to get out of the way just in the nick of time. Oh, Don Morocco face first down into the canvas. And Jinder Mahal. Escorting Don Morocco to the center of the ring. Delivers the stop. Oh my, here we go. Looks like he's going for that camel clutch. A classic play out of the Iron Sheik's handbook, and this could be the end for Don Morocco right here. Jinder Mahal really lacing into this submission. Morocco seems to be fading here. Look at this, Morocco manages to escape the hole. Delivers an overhand right to the back of Jinder Mahal. And an arm breaker. Well, the momentum has shifted back and forth here between these two for quite some time. Morocco charges. Fails to connect with the body splash again. Jinder Mahal escaping, but manages to get nailed with a kick from Don Morocco there. Mahal, whoa, with that running knee. Morocco down on the canvas again. Jinder Mahal 
looking to wrap this up, and he's running out of time. Oh, look at this. Cobra cut, clutch slam. Wall covers one, two. And again, Don Morocco managing to evade, being pinned here. Jinder Mahal waiting for him. Here we go, oh, Morocco counters with an elbow and a knee to the face. Takes Jinder Mahal down to the mat. Morocco with a hard overhand right. We are rapidly running out of time here. Only 10 minute time limit. Morocco all the way up there on the top rope waiting for Jinder Mahal delivers the double axe handle to the head. Now just teeing off with a series of hard rights to the skull of Jinder Mahal. We are down to less than the final 30 seconds of this contest. Jinder Mahal makes his way to the outside. Don Morocco in hot pursuit, misses with the clothesline. Connects with a series of body shots and a kick. Dragon screw. Takes Mahal down to the canvas. Don Morocco looking supremely confident here, but uh, no, that is going to do it. Time is up. This is a time limit draw. Very disappointing debut for Jinder Mahal. We'll be back after this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be returning to ringside almost immediately with our next match, a tag team event involving Wanton J and Vicious Ace, the Vandal Brothers, set to go two on two against the notorious Texas Hangman. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by the player, Gary Hart, and at a combined weight of 555 pounds, Warren J. Van But I'm secure in the knowledge that Gary I know I can't be fired, I'm Van going to speak my Durr. mind. This is a tag team that has gone through more hands than a hooker at a frat party. The Vandal Brothers have been around for over 12 years and have gone through three managers. It really begs the question as to why. Jay and Ace, of course, extremely competent, former tag team champions, but why have they gone through three different managers in over a decade? I'd really love to know the answer to that one. And the crowd here in London delivering a pretty cool reception to Jay and Ace Vandal. We merely await the arrival of the Texas Hangman now. Here, whoa, wait a minute here. What in the name of Bonaparte's nuts is going on here? Snarl General Manager Hangman takes Lynch accompanying MJ Ferentino to the ring. Before the Texas Hangman, I think I understand what's going on here. Whoa, my. M-J-F and H-T-L. Now, I might be wrong. I'll have to get clarification from Tex, but... MJ Ferentino was the second manager of the Mandel Brothers following Boyd Bradford's run with them. And I think, now Tex is something of a financier of wrestling stuff since he won the Memphis Million a couple of years ago. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think, MJ Ferentino may be the new manager of the Texas Hangman. Well, this is an interesting development right here. And here are and there Killer are and Psycho, the Texas Hangman. Now, obviously, under the management of MJ Ferentino, and I'm sure there are some ulterior motives behind this one. The Texas Hangman causing something of a stir here this evening. And the Vandal Brothers don't know what to make of it, and yes, there is MJ Ferentino. Obviously, the new manager of the Texas Hangman. My goodness. Hey, what's going on, Danny Don? How you doing? Tex, you've got some explaining to do. Oh, well, Don, it's kind of a long story. Maybe we better tell it during the match, but just do your thing. Very well, tag team action, and here we go. The referee rings the bell. Killer catches a kick to the midsection from Jay Vandal. Killer. 
with a suplex on Wanton Jay Vandal. No, really, Tex, what is going on here? Well, long story short, come to find out, Big Boy Gary Hart went ahead and cheated M.G. Ferentino out of the win. Went over the paperwork, found some indiscretions, some discrepancies, and, well, long story short, I felt bad for the kid. Manages the Texan Ladies Association, you know, and, well, I said, you know what, let's, let's textify M.J. Ferentino's stables. And I sat down with him, and we made a little deal, wherein he will be the manager of Killer and Psycho, who now have a forever home. Well, it was an extraordinary explanation. All right, well, Killer. Whips Jay Vandal into the corner. Jay Vandal counters. Hard right. Now Jay Vandal. Dragging. Killer, but Killer. Quickly countering. Now Killer. Whips Jay Vandal back into the Texas Hangman's corner. And again, Jay Vandal escapes. Goes after Psycho as well. Whips Killer into his corner. Killer escapes. Alright, oh, great deal of counter-rustling in this one. Head first into the buckle goes Killer. Again, Killer managing to escape and another counter from Wanton Jay Vandal. These two battling back and forth in... Oh, well now, shoulder tackle. Takes down Jay Vandal. Now Killer with a short DDT. Killer dragging Jay Vandal center ring. Closest to his corner. Rolls him over, covers, and no. Jay Vandal getting back to his feet and counters with a DDT. Payback for the DDT he just received. Again, Killer whipped into the Vandal Brothers' corner, and uh oh, here we go. It's a stampede party. And the Vandal Brothers are taking their turns. And Killer, the Texas Hangman, is the doormat. That ain't, that ain't no good. That's, that's absolutely no damn good, Don. Oh, man. Oh, well. And in comes... Face Vandal on the tag. Dick to the midsection. Killer still hasn't tagged in Psycho. Oh, my hard shot. Takes Ace Vandal down to the canvas. Now Killer, stretching the leg of Ace Vandal. As Playboy Gary Hart looks on, I wonder what's going on inside his mind. Oh, he knows he messed up. He absolutely knows he screwed up. He knows that's why I'm here, that's why Ferentino's here, that's why the Killer and Psycho are here. Because he knows he messed up. And in comes Psycho on the tag. Whoa! Ace Vandal counters, catches an arm drag and a clothesline out onto the floor. Now both Killer and Ace Vandal laid out on the outside. Psycho gathers up Ace Vandal, assists him back into the ring. Here we go again, hard shot, takes Ace Vandal down to the canvas, and another short but vicious DDT. Now Psycho stalking Ace Vandal up over the shoulders. Fireman's carry position and Mitch and Oku driver slam to the ground. One. But Jay Vandal countering and spoiling the pin. Ace Vandal catches the black body drop from Psycho. And in comes Wanton Jay Vandal again. Whoa, look at that. Couldn't stop Psycho. Like hitting a brick wall and another Michinoku driver. Delivered by Psycho of the Texas Hangman. I don't know. You know, I expected this to... Whoa, look at that. Did you see that? Now, these guys, I'm telling you, they need, all they needed was the right manager, and I think that MJ Ferentino is going to be that guy. That's well, likely to be a huge shot in the arm for MJ Ferentino's stable, which has just barely been keeping its head above water. Look at this, Playboy Gary Hart introducing a chair into the mix. I guess somebody's a little concerned. Oh, Psycho. With 
Jay Vandal on the outside. Swings and misses, fails to connect with the clothesline, catches a jumping neck breaker. Jay Vandal. Now tussling on the outside, referee counting. Solid counter. Wanton Jay Vandal. He's got Psycho and rolls him back inside the ring. Delivers a spiteful elbow to the head and returns to the ring himself, the referee, removing that steel chair. Now Wanton Jay Vandal whips Psycho into the corner. Has him up on the top rope. This is not going to be good. Man, no, man, no, don't do that. Come on. Top rope superplex. Oh, come on, man. This is not good. Not good at all. One, Jay Vandal. Countered by Psycho. With a neck breaker drop. Now Psycho. Catches a fireman's carry from Wanton J. Vandal. Again, up over the shoulders. But Psycho counters it into a DDT. The referee's count continues. Back body drop for Psycho. J. Vandal. Belly to belly suplex on the outside on that floor. There you go, that's how you do it. Texas Hangman. Seemed to be holding something of an advantage here. In a battle that's otherwise been a stalemate. Face Vandal in on the tag. Gets caught. Gets slammed to the canvas. Psycho of the Texas Hangman displaying a little bit of fatigue here. Rounds him up. DDT! He just busted him open and he's got some blood mixed into that face paint. Ace Vandal being dragged center ring here. Rolls him over, covers. Whoa. Jeez. Oh, man. I was kind of hoping it'd be over then. Hard kick to the back as Ace Vandal gets back to his feet. And delivers a counter DDT. A whole lot of payback here. Back and forth between these two teams. Psycho going to work on a downed Ace Vandal. Rounds him back up, catches a fireman's carry. Ace Vandal not quite done yet. Psycho sweeps the leg. Ace counters. Now Psycho down on the canvas. As Ace Vandal drives a knee into the back. Wait for Gary Hart. Definitely must be concerned to some extent. Yeah, well, he knows he messed up. He knows I've gone over the record. He knows something is going on. He knows that I know something is going on. Ace Vandal. Whips Psycho into the corner. Close line. Psycho collapsing center ring. Ace Vandal. Looking like he's feeling a little confident. But so far, not a pin, not a submission. This match has gone on for a considerable length of time. Now Psycho. Showing off a little bit for the fans here in London. Ace Vandal counters. Rounds up Psycho. Has him up there's that power bomb into a pin. One, two, oh, whoa. Look at this, he countered it, turned it into a Boston crowd. Now it's a submission. From a two count into a submission. Again, the Vandal brothers absolutely not without some significant talent. In comes Wanton Jay Vandal on the tag. Roll Psycho over, goes for the cover, but no. Psycho quickly powering out of that pin. Jay Vandal catches a boot to the face. Psycho delivers yet another DDT. The Vandal brothers' heads have got to be aching by now. Goes for the cover. One. Wanton Jay Vandal 
Saved from a pin by Ace. Now Psycho. Stalking. Jay Vandal. Up over the shoulders. Here we go. One more time with a Michinoku driver. Now Psycho dragging. Jay Vandal center ring here. Again, going for the cover. One, two, three. No. No hole. False call. Nearly a three count. Again, Psycho stalking Jay Vandal. One more time, hoping to seal the deal here. Another Michinoku driver going for the cover. One, two. Oh, my. Unbelievable. Now, Jay Vandal. The Psycho in a submission situation. A half crab. The psycho powders. Now, Psycho. Gets caught. Oh, there we go. Eighth Jay Vandal up over the shoulders. Yet another Michinoku driver and another cover. One, two. Ace Vandal. Thwarting the plans of the Vandal Brothers yet again. And in comes Killer on the tag. Killer. Right, oh, catches the back body drop from Jay Vandal. And look at this. Another DDT, courtesy of the Texas Hangman. Jay Vandal absolutely motionless. And Killer is watching and waiting. Jay Vandal back to his feet and whips Killer into the corner. Now up over the shoulders, but Killer counters and escapes. Rounds up. Jay Vandal, whoa! Leg snap. Now Killer taking advantage of a downed Jay Vandal. And one more time, for insurance's sake, yet another DDT. Hey man, you gotta admit they're thorough of anything. Hey man, that's how they were trained. Oh, uh, well. Killer stretching the leg. Jay Vandal, Jay Vandal, just about escaping the hold. Now, with a handful of masks, Escorting Killer into the Vandal Brothers' corner, but Killer not having any of it. Killer rounds him up, up over the shoulders. Yet another Michinoku driver. And now dragging Jay Vandal, center ring. Going for the cover here. One, two, three, and that is it, the Texas Hangman. Win this battle with the Vandal Brothers by pinfall. Here and MJ are Ferentino. your winners. T -H -K. K and T H P. Did you see that dandy down to one minute to go? One minute. I tell you what, this tag team division better watch the hell out. There's some new hangmen in town. Indeed, the Texas hangmen. Victorious over the Vandal Brothers in an absolute buzzer beater. I suppose MJ Parentino and the Texas Hangmen have an extremely bright future ahead of them. Damn right they do. All right, Don, I gotta get the hell out of here. I'll, I'll see you around, okay? You have to keep going. You're doing a great show. See you around, buddy. Ow, ho, ow. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back right after this brief message. Old grudges rekindled in our main event tonight at Legends Division Tag Team Match, which is going to pit Brett the Hitman Hart partnered with the Ultimate Warrior, set to face the team of Hulk Hogan and Bill Goldberg.
professional wrestling world, you either love or hate the Ultimate Warrior, depending on what camp you're in. But no matter which camp you're in, it cannot be denied the Ultimate Warrior's impact. Going back into the mid-1980s, his impact on the professional wrestling business has been significant. Now this evening, the Ultimate Warrior will be joining forces with the Hitman as they face two of their most heated rivals in Hulk Hogan and Bill Goldberg. And his partner, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rick the Hitman Hart! The legendary Hitman, the excellence of execution, Joining forces with the Ultimate Warrior this evening, and then as many of you know, Brett the Hitman Hart and Bill Goldberg have a long-standing, heated, heated rivalry. Going back to an injury Brett sustained at the hands of Goldberg many years ago. And of course, the rivalry between Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior, everyone knows. Saturday, September the 14th, RWL will return once again to the RWL YouTube channel, with that night's edition of RWL Snarl, and in addition to the usual two hours of the biggest stars and the biggest matches, there's going to be, a special in-ring announcement from both, the general manager of Snarl, Tex Lynch, and Ray's general manager Steve Hercules Rose. It's gonna be another top-notch Saturday night card, this upcoming Saturday the 14th, when Snarl lands in Birmingham, England, we sure hope to see you there. Down the ringside, the absolutely sensational Bill Goldberg. As I mentioned earlier, Goldberg and Bret Hart, certainly not the best of friends. This match is not likely to improve relations between the two. Indeed, Bill Goldberg, a sensation in his earliest days in World Championship Wrestling. And the slogan and catchphrase was, who's next? Goldberg tore through a slew of competitors in a very short period of time. tag main event definitely worth the price of admission my goodness Bill Goldberg look at that what a disturbing 
physical specimen is Bill Goldberg. Intimidating in the extreme. This tag team main event going to begin with the Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan. Rekindling WrestleMania memories here of the bell rings. Ultimate Warrior delivers a series of shots and overhand right that takes Hogan down to the mat and in comes the hitman. The excellence of execution. Hulk Hogan slams Brett's head down to the mat. Bret Hart catches a back body drop as the Hulkster tags in Goldberg for the first time. Bill Goldberg up against this arch rival Brett the Hitman Hart. And Brett definitely going to be looking to do some damage here as he hangs Goldberg off the top rope and sends him out onto the floor. And Brett the Hitman Hart giving immediate chase and hurling Bill Goldberg back inside the ring. In comes the hitman. Bret Hart with a hard right hand and a kick to the gut. Bill Goldberg counters. Unfazed by Bret Hart's assault. Look at this. Goldberg stopping Bret Hart cold. Whoa, fall away slam by Bill Goldberg. Follows it up with a kick to the chest and in comes Hulk Hogan. The ref sees the tag. And the Hulkster again slams Brett's head down to the canvas. Indeed, no love lost between the Hitman and the Hulkster either. Hulk Hogan drops the leg on the arm of Brett the Hitman Hart. Hogan tags out, in comes Goldberg. And Bret Hart not answering with any offense whatsoever as both Hogan and Goldberg have taken their share of shots at the Hitman. Look at this. Pump handle fall away by Bill Goldberg. Goldberg catches a jawbreaker from the Hitman and a running clothesline as Bret Hart savagely takes Goldberg down. I think that perhaps Bret Hart is a little bit angry at this point. Hangs Goldberg off the top rope. Urging Goldberg back to his feet. Bret Hart charges running clothesline from the back. The Hitman. Whips Goldberg into the corner. Now torturing the arms of Bill Goldberg. Another kick to the gut. That takes... What, wait a minute, what's going on here? Bret Hart, taking things perhaps a little bit too far on the outside, using that ring post as leverage. And trying to take apart the cartilage in the legs of Goldberg. Again, the animus between these individuals is extreme. Goldberg, countering here, Bret Hart. Up in the electric chair position, but delivers a couple of headshots and escapes in a running bulldog. Takes Goldberg face down into the floor. Goldberg may be bleeding. Hip toss from Goldberg. Rounds Bret Hart up. Takes himself back inside. Leaves Bret Hart to his own devices. Comes back out again. Bret Hart ready for him. Delivers a hard series of body shots again. Bill Goldberg practically unfazed by the attacks of Bret Hart. His head gets slammed into the apron. Bret Hart counters Goldberg. Charges, fails to connect with the clothesline as Goldberg escorts Bret Hart back into the ring. Bill Goldberg psyched for this tag team match as Bret Hart tags in the Ultimate Warrior. Whoa, look at this. Goldberg stops the ultimate warrior. Gold has him up, slams him down. Immediately establishing authority over the ultimate warrior. Goldberg is a one-man army here. Spinning neckbreaker. As Hulk Hogan comes in. And his rival, the ultimate warrior, laid out. And Hulk Hogan delivers a series of rolling elbow drops and a spiteful stomp to the face, drives a knee into the head of the Ultimate Warrior. And the Hogan-Goldberg team appears to be having much of the advantage so far. 
Ultimate Warrior charges, fails to connect, Bill Goldberg delivers a series of shots that takes Warrior face down on the canvas. Look at this, Bill Goldberg, astounding power of the Ultimate Warrior, finding a way out of the hole, delivering a back rake, but Bill Goldberg again, too fast. Now Goldberg, pump handle, full away slam on the Ultimate Warrior. Bret Hart looks on and he does not look pleased. Ultimate Warrior counters with a knee to the midsection. Now the Warrior with a vertical suplex on Goldberg. Ultimate Warrior trying to fight his way back in here. Has Goldberg all the way up. Look at this. Gorilla press drop from the Ultimate Warrior. Now proceeds to go to work on Bill Goldberg, going for the cover. And only a two count, says the official. Ultimate Warrior returns to work immediately on Goldberg. Off the ropes, there's the splash. Another cover from the Ultimate Warrior. But only a two. Bill Goldberg, still in the game. Warrior. Has him up a two-handed choke slam as Ultimate Warrior steps out, tags in Bret the Hitman Hart. And here comes the excellence of execution. Moving in on Goldberg, connects with the running clothesline. And now Bret Hart whips Goldberg into the far corner. As him up, slams him right down. Another scoop slam, the Hitman. A little too late as Hulk Hogan gets tagged in. Running clothesline takes the holster down. Bret Hart trying to escort Hogan to his corner. Succeeds in doing so. Tags in the Ultimate Warrior. We're about to see a little double team action here. Ultimate Warrior off the top rope with that elbow across the throat of Hogan. Now Hulk Hogan. For the first time in this matchup, looking like he's in some considerable trouble. Ultimate Warrior with a hard body shot. Whips Hogan out onto the apron. Another hard right hand and hangs him off the top rope and out goes Hulk Hogan onto the floor as Brett the Hitman Hart is tagged in. The Hitman pursuing Hulk Hogan on the outside. Hogan reeled back into the ring here. The Hitman... Hulk Hogan's got him up over the shoulders and drops him head first into the turnbuckle. Hulk Hogan gets countered, the Hitman escaping the corner. And a Russian leg sweep from Bret the Hitman Hart on the Hulkster. Hulkster counters quickly back to his feet. Double axe handle takes down Bret the Hitman Hart with authority. And now Hulk Hogan Rebounds off the ropes. There's the leg drop from the Hulkster going for the cover. One, two, only two. Brett the Hitman Hart gets gathered up from Hulk Hogan. Misses with the kick. Miss failed to connect with the big boot. Hogan trying to make it up. Has him up in the long vertical suplex. Hulkster. Delivering hard right hands to the side of the head of the Hitman. Bret Hart has not looked good in this, in this encounter. Hulk Hogan backing it up, wrapping it ready. Boom, there it is, the elbow across the face of Bret the Hitman Hart. As Hulk Hogan continues to gradually disassemble the Hitman here, now into a submission, Ultimate Warrior there to make the save. Now Hulk Hogan escorts Ultimate Warrior to the outside and resumes his work on Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart counters with a kick, but next with the running clothesline takes Hogan down to the mat, gathers him back up again, and head first into the buckle goes Hulk Hogan. As Bret the Hitman Hart Turns on the aggression here. Head first into the buckle again for the Hulkster. 
Now a hard chop across the chest from the hitman. Bret Hart turning it and kicking it into another gear, but tags in the Ultimate Warrior. Now Ultimate Warrior with the holster right where he wants him. Delivers an elbow drop and Hulk Hogan tags out and in comes Goldberg. Goldberg and the Ultimate Warrior, what a match those two are on a single basis alone. Spinning neck breaker from Goldberg. Ultimate Warrior counters with an elbow. The Warrior catches elbows to the midsection from Bill Goldberg. Ultimate Warrior counters with a knee to the midsection. Now Ultimate Warrior just slams Bill Goldberg down to the canvas and in comes Bret the Hitman Hart. Bret Hart moves in on Goldberg. They lock up. And another Russian leg sweep from the Hitman. Bret Hart, here we go. Bret Hart initiating the sharpshooter. He's got it locked in. Goldberg with absolutely no recourse but to tap out. This one is over. Bret the Hitman Hart and the Ultimate Warrior win this one by submission. The Hitman and the Warrior celebrating this victory over Hulk Hogan and Goldberg with Bret the Hitman Hart scoring the tap out win over Goldberg himself and I imagine that's got to feel pretty good to the Hitman. What an amazing, amazing matchup we've had here. Legends Division Tag and the Ultimate Warrior also doing his part against Hulk Hogan in this astounding matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this evening's edition of RWL Championship Wrestling. I hope that you'll be with us Saturday night on the 14th when RWL Snarl, Wally Cardell, Tex Lynch, and Johnny Bianco will return at that time. Until then, for all of us here at RWL, I'm Don Hickson, again saying thank you so much for being part of RWL, and we will see you next time. Good night, everyone. <laughs>